بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أن رجلا جاءه الموت في زمن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال رجل in the era of Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam a sahabi passed away so somebody said hani allahu mata wa lam yubtal bimaradin that how fortunate is this person that he passed away and he was not inflicted with any sickness. فَقَالَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ وَيْهَكَ نَبِي عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ told him destruction be upon you. مَا يُدَرِيكَ لَوْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ إِبْتَلَاهُ بِمَرَضٍ How do you know that if Allah had inflicted him with the sickness, يُكَفِّرُ عَنْهُ مِنْ سَيِّئَاتِهِ it would have been a means for his sins, his guna to be forgiven. It could have been a means for his salvation. سَعَاتُ الْمَرَضِ يُذْهِبْنَ سَعَاتِ الْخَطَايَا That hours of sickness wipe out, eliminate hours and hours of ma'asya, sin and disobedience. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors one with the bounty and ni'mah of sickness, then we should receive this gift with open arms. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the reality of all His bounties. لَمَّا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ الْأَرْضُ جَعَلَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَنْ تَمِيدُ When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the earth, the earth started shaking and trembling. فَرْسَاهَا بِالْجِبَالِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stabilized the earth with mountains. فَاسْتَقَرَّتْ so it became stabilized and like how when a person goes to wheel balancing and alignment places for his vehicle, the tire is wobbling. So you stabilize the tire like that the earth became stabilized. The farishtas became amazed and were shocked at the might of the mountains. رَبَّنَا هَلْ خَلَقْتَ خَلْقًا أَشَدَ مِنَ الْجِبَالِ So they asked Allah, have you created a power, a force more robust than the mountains? قَالَ نَعَمَ الْحَدِيدَ Allah replied, yes, ayan. فَتَعَجَّبَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةِ Again, the malaika were amazed when they seen the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they asked, O Allah, have you created a creation أَشَدْ مِنَ الْحَدِيدِ more mighty and powerful than ayin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Yes, I've created an-nar, fire. فَتَعَجَّبَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةِ Again, the malaika were perplexed and amazed at fire. So they asked Allah, هَلْ خَلَقْتَ خَلْكًا أَشَدْ مِنَ الْجِبَالِ Oh Allah, have you created a creation more powerful min an-nar than fire? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, yes, I did create something more powerful. Al-ma, water. فتعجبت الملائكة. Again, the malaika were perplexed and they were amazed at this creation. And they asked, هل خلقت خلقا أشد من الماء? Oh Allah, you created more powerful than water. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, yes, al-reeh. I have created wind. فَتَعَجَّبَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةِ Once again, malaika were perplexed. هَلْ خَلَقْتَ خَلْقًا أَشَدْ مِنَ الْرِيحِ Is anything more powerful than wind? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Yes, Ibn Adam, thus in sun, إِذَا تَصَدَّقَ صَدَقَةً بِيَمِينِهِ When this human being gives sadaqa, charity, with his right hand, فَأَخْفَاهَا and shimalihi, and he hides it from his left hand, then thus sadaqa, thus charity, is more powerful than all these creations. We can understand the value and the power in words, but the actual reality and the haqiqat cannot be comprehended by this insan and by this human being. It may seem insignificant, it may seem small, but every cent, every grain that is given by, 
to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not go in vain. He said, Kharajat imra'atun wa ma'aha sabiyun. Let us see the value of the sadaqah. A woman with a child one day went out and ja'a there. A wolf came and snatched the child. As the child got snatched and the woman noticed it, she ran for her child. And as she was behind this wolf trying to catch up with it, somebody came and stopped her and asked her for anything to eat. In that dismay, the only food that she had, she gave it. And she lost sight of the wolf and a child. فَجَاءَ ذِبٌ بِسَبِيَّةٍ The wolf returned with her child حَتَّى رَدَّهُ عَلَيْهَا And it returned her child فَهَتَّفَ هَاتِفٌ And she heard a sound هَذِهِ لُقْمَةٌ بِلُقْمَةٍ This is the luqma for that luqma The luqma, the morsel of food which you gave that person this is the recompense. So every amal is great in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah gives us reward. How fortunate are the people of Iman. Reward in dunya, reward in akhirah. There was one great abid, Min Bani Israel. He worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sitina sana for 60 years. Another yawman ila ba'd sara. One day, as the gardens, summer came in, the rains fell, he looked at the earth, he looked at the scenery outside his place of ibadah, his place of worship. He was amazed at the scenery. So he decided, should I not go out and witness the scenery? So he left his place of ibadah after so many years. He took some food and provisions, one loaf of bread. فَعُرِذَتْ لَهُ إِمْرَةٌ On his journey he came across a female. فَكَشَفَتْ لَهُ فَفْتَتَنَ بِهَا After seeing her beauty, it so happened his gaze fell on us, fell on her, he became enticed. فَلَمْ يَمْلِكْ نَفْسَهُ أَنْ وَاقَعَهَا It so happened that he committed adultery with her. After a certain amount of time, regret came over him. He started to make Tawbah. At that moment, death came to him. He had a visit from death. And at that point in time, a sail, a beggar came to him and asked him, فَأَطَاهُ الرغيف. And he gave the beggar that piece of bread. فَمَاتَ And he passed away. On the time where Hisab Kitab came, the 60 years were weighed on one side of the scale, and the 60 and the guna that he committed was weighed on the other side. فَرَجَحَتْ خَطِيئَتُهُ بِعَمَلِ سِتِّينَ سَنَةً The guna that he committed wiped out all 60 years of his ibadat. It erased all his ibadat of his entire life. Then Jiabir Raghif, that piece of bread which you gave in Sadaqah was brought for Wudhi and it was placed on the scale of his Amal and it outweighed the sins, it outweighed that Guna. So we should not think of any Amal as insignificant and when the opportunity comes to give Sadaqah, let us not hold back. People look at how much we've given, look how much you've kept by you, look how much you've kept by you. Malik bin Dirar once was sitting and a beggar came and he had a basket of dates. فَقَالَ لِإِمْرَأَتِهِ اِئْتِنِي بِهَا He said, bring the dates. فَأَخَذَهَا Malik. So he took the dates. فَأَطَى نِسْفَهَا إِلَى السَّائِلِ He gave half to the beggar. وَرَدَّ نِسْفَهَا إِلَى إِمْرَأَتِهِ And he said, keep the other half. فَقَالَتْ لَهُ إِمْرَأَتُهُ His wife proclaimed. Imagine the woman of Islam 
what sifat, what qualities we need, masturat in women that can encourage the men, the uncles, the brothers, the sons of Islam to strive for the deen of Allah, to make sure every breath of theirs is given for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She said, myth luka yusamma zahidan. People call you a zahid, a pious person. Hazrat wala sheikh. هَلْ رَأَيْتَ أَحَدًا يَبْعَثُ إِلَى الْمَلِكِ هَدِيَّةً مُكَسَّرَةً فَدَعَى الْمَلِكِ بِالسَّائِلِ She said, can it be possible that somebody sends a gift to the king which is broken, which is deformed? You had an opportunity to give the entire basket. You deprived us is going to Allah. Don't look at the beggar. Fada Malik beside, he said, bring him, call him back now. And he gave him the rest of the dates. So we need to perfect our sadaqah. It is not just about giving sadaqah in charity, but it's doing it with perfection. That's why ulama say we need seven sifat and qualities when we give sadaqah. ikhrajuha min halal. That we should make sure that our risk and sustenance is halal. The Robin Hood scenario is not permissible. Whether you steal from wherever, that wealth is haram. There's no benefit. The person has interest, the first question is, where did you get it from? How did you get in that position to even own interest? Forget where it should be dispersed. Secondly, and trying to give Maximum what you are in need of. So even if a person doesn't have, give the little bit that you have. Third, ta'jiluha makhafatul fawt. And to rush in giving it, because you don't know if you will get tawfiq. A buzruk was making ghusl and his scream oh, to his khadim, give that away. Afterwards the khadim inquired, Sheikh, you could have waited. He said, I did not know and have yaqeen. I will finish my ghusl. Or I will ever have tawfiq to give it. So when Allah puts it in your heart to give sadaqah, charity, to give for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't hold back. Number four, tasfiyatuha makhafat al-bukhl. And giving your prime, your A grade, your premium, whatever you have in your wealth, the best quality, the superior quality, giving that for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, generally for our own selves, our children, our family, we buy the best clothes, give the best food. Why? For the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't give our best. Number five, yubtiha fi sirm. And we should give it in secret, very discreetly. Do not disclose, do not be put, put Big slogans, make a'lan, let people know what we have done. And number six, bu'dul manni, and stay away far from, remind the people who you have done any good to in your life, abstain from reminding them of your good. And seven, that do not cause the full adha and sahibiha, do not cause any grievance or harm to the person we are giving it to. We should be very courteous and polite when we administer and we give sadaqah. They say there was one young mother who was hospitalized due to old age. She fell in a coma. She was put in ICU. A few days later, they called the son and said her condition was now hopeless. There was no hope and a condition was such that they expected her to depart from this dunya anytime. The son, distressed and distraught, left the hospital. He had some needs on his way back. He was returning to the hospital to visit his mother and he stopped at the gas station. As he was waiting for the attendant to fill his tank, he noticed Outside in the cold and rainy weather, there was a cat who had just given birth to a letter, letter and a cardboard box. 
these children could hardly walk they looked very frail and it seemed like they were going to die the mother with the baby were very weak he said who would feed these creatures of Allah under these circumstances so he went to the store and he bought some food and he poured the contents and prepared it for the cat and left when he entered the intensive care unit he saw his mother was there, not there he fell into a greater panic realizing and thinking that his mother had passed on in the spanish stricken mode he went to a nurse and inquired what had happened to his mother and where was her body she informed him that her condition had improved drastically and they had moved her to the next room he went to his mother and found her fully alert he made salam to her and asked her what had happened she said that she had a dream while she was unconscious she had saw the cat and her kittens with their hands extended to the sky the hands were extended to the asman making dua for her and as he heard the words of his mother he was filled with tears as he could not believe what had happened so la tahqiranna min al ma'ruf shay'a do not think any amal of deen to be significant let us realize the value of the life that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us let us realize the value of this wealth and amanat which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and let us utilize it properly idha atayta madja'aka when a person goes to bed he should make wudu then in the condition of wudu if he goes to bed and lies ala shiqqik al ayman on his right side and he reads this dua allahumma aslamtu nafsi ilayk wa wajjahtu wajhi ilayk wa fawwadtu amri ilayk wa alja'tu dhahri ilayk raghbatan wa rahbatan ilayk la malja wa la manja minka illa ilayk amantu bi kitabika alladhi anzalta wa bi nabiyyika alladhi arsalta if he reads this dua then nabi ali salam has promised fa in mutta min laylatika if allah takes your ruh that night mutta ala al fitra you die on fitra on the natural disposition instinct of iman a person dies on iman another riwayat dakhala al jannah he is a jannati counting from amongst the inhabitants of jannah wa in asbahta as asabta khairan and if allah gives a person life then he will get up in a good condition wad khair an baraka waj'al hunna akhir ma takallam and make your last words when you sleep this dua obviously this should be your last words and if a person cannot fall asleep then they should be reciting durood malaina al hasan used to say that charity is like a room with two doors when a person gives sadaqa then when the one window is open the window of risk the other window is the window of sadaqa when he gives sadaqa then for ventilation in a room you need two windows so when he gives the sadaqa he is open that window he is open in the door to risk and sustenance may allah give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin